Well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Reviewing Things the Wrong Way, and this is Andrew Wrong, your host. Thanks for coming back. We're going to be talking about the new Marvel legend, Rage. He's the only one I was able to get a hold of so far from the new wave, so let's get this guy out and take a look at him. First of all, let's look at that packaging. It's pretty cool looking. Rage along the bottom. Character right on the side. Character right on the other side. Back also has some pretty cool art. Description, wave, abomination, build a figure, barcode, and stuff. Cool. Let's open them up. The only accessory he comes with, if you're a collector of such things, would be the arm for abomination for the build a figure. And here we are, Rage. Looking pretty good. I like this uh, sculpt a lot. He's a pretty cool character. To be quite honest with you, though, I really don't know much about him. Uh, I just thought he looked cool. And honestly, part of buying toys for me is, look, I don't always have to know the character. Typically, I would rather have knowledge of the character. But in this case, I was like, man, he's just a badass looking. Look at that fucking mask. Look at that thing. That thing's sweet. All right, let's go into it. So, he has Crunch in. Will not crunch back, I can already tell you that, because this coat, and his coat does not come off. So, no way for a backward crunch. Uh, we got double elbow. Uh, well, he actually goes up pretty far. I think I can get it up there farther, though, but I'm not going to mess with it at the moment. Swivels at the tricep. I think I forget to put that on there pretty regularly. So we're showing you because basically everybody does it. Head movement. Man, actually, now I'm touching that mask. God, that rubber mask feels awesome. I don't know why. But they did a really cool job with that. Like, it, it's definitely rubber. It almost feels like it could be a real mask. And we got some wrist movement. Leg forward, leg back. Back decently far. Double knee. He, oh, he's so close. So he won't kick his own ass. He's too beefy. His uh, quads are blocking him. His quads are too thick. Foot forward. Uh, it doesn't go far very forward though. Oh no, that one was like that from the packaging. Shit. And that one's, oh, there it goes, cool. Leg forward. We got the pivot. Oh, well, no, it's more of one of these things. It is not the pivot. It is that dumbass thing that I hate that is half of a pivot. It still works as a pivot, kind of. I don't like that, though. All right. Leather jacket looks pretty real, though. I really like the detail that they put in there to make that look like leather. It's like punched in. Pretty cool. Chest hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. I don't think they would have put real chest hair in there. But it would have been cool if it was, like, prickly or something. But, yeah. This is a pretty badass figure. And, like I said, sometimes I just buy because I like the look of somebody. I don't always have to know. Oh, yeah, he also has the twist in here. Splits out pretty far. Pretty much standard articulation for the Legends. Overall happy with him. I just don't like that. That's not the real pivot. They went back with this... Fake shit. Terrible. Not a fan of that. Anyways, there he is. Thanks for stopping back and checking out a video and clicking on this. If you liked what you were looking at, click subscribe, click the bell. It'll notify you whenever I put up some more content. Uh, I'm going to probably try to track down a couple of the other figures from this wave, honestly. The last several waves, I've not been, like, a huge fan of, like, everything in the whole wave, so... I haven't really been building the Build-A-Figures, like the last line was the uh, Demogoblin Build-A-Figure Wave, which I'm kind of on the fence about the, Dem the Demogoblin. I really like him, but I don't know. Hobgoblin's totally fine with me, Green Goblin's totally fine with me, I don't need to have a Demogoblin too, so I don't know. That one I'm kind of on the fence about, however I don't like the Abomination they picked for this, his face looks really funny, and uh... 
So I don't like it. I have a Marvel Select Abomination that I think is a much better choice as far as the overall look for Abomination. If Marvel Legends decides to put something out that, you know, looks a little bit better, then I'll probably go for it. But I don't think this Build-A-Figure is the answer. And I don't think every character in, the, in this line is something that I need. Like I said, I do buy on looks sometimes. I don't always buy based on knowing the character. And the only other character in this wave I know is the leader, which the leader would be a cool character to have. Otherwise, I don't think there's anybody else in the wave that I'm like super interested in. Uh, if I buy them based on looks, there is a couple that look cool. But again, I wasn't pulled that much, you know, to buying these figures uh, from this wave. So I saw Rage and I was like, yeah, he's awesome. I need to have him. So anyways, do you guys like this wave at all? Looking forward to the next wave? I'll tell you the one thing I'm actually looking forward to is the new Apocalypse from Age of Apocalypse. He looks amazing. That is like my anticipated figure at the moment for Marvel Legends. Uh, and as far as Black Series go, I've got those carbonized figures pre-ordered, so pretty stoked about those two. So that'll be on the horizon. In the meantime, whatever I can find that tickles my fancy, I guess. And anyways... Again, thanks for watching. Look forward to another review and things the wrong way. Thanks.